When we bought our house, we didn't think to ask about heat and air distribution. If we had, we would have learned that our bedroom doubled as a sauna in the summer and a meat locker in the winter. Yay for multi-purpose rooms! Large fans and sleeping naked got us through the summer. Those nights were hot and steamy. Not in a good way. Then the winter came and our little space heater has this little fiery, blowy, rolly thing and it just wasn't doing it for me. After suffocating under oppressive heat night after night, I had enough. We needed something quick and inexpensive. Thankfully, we discovered the DIY Mr. Cool ductless mini split, but I was sure we'd have to have an HVAC technician come out to our house, which would cost thousands. But with the Mr. Cool DIY ductless mini split, I learned that it's just that. It truly is a do-it-yourself product. The tools you'll need are a cross-tip screwdriver, a drill with appropriate drill bits, a three and a half inch hole saw, a stud finder, a spray bottle of soapy water, and pliers with an adjustable wrench or two fixed wrenches. You can find all of these supplies at your local hardware store. Scope out your room to see where you'd like to mount your indoor unit. Keep in mind where you'd also like to put your outdoor unit. It does come with about 25 feet of bundled piping. After you used your wall template to see where you'd like to place your indoor unit, it's important that you find studs that will line up with the mounting plate. I double checked my studs and now I'm going to make marks on the wall template to show where I want to put screws. The unit came with five screws so I'm just going to mark five spots. This one lined up, one in the middle. One very important thing before you mark the wall is that you make sure the template is level so you know that the unit will be level. Just marking the spots where I poke the holes on the template. Definitely use the wall template, the mounting plate, all the resources that you have just to make sure that you're drilling in the right place. Before I drilled those holes, I quadruple checked. And I'm just going to place the screws with my fingers. Let's just make sure it's level before we commit. Ta-da! Clearly I'm not a handyman because I'm not a man, but I'm also not handy. So I had to borrow tools from my mom. So I'm just working with what I've got. That's why this is so long. <laughs> You'll need a three and a half inch hole saw so you can drill a hole all the way through your house and through that hole is where your piping and electrical work will go to the outside unit. I'm really nervous about this. Um, looks pretty scary and big. We're drilling on the right side of the mounting plate. I just measured four and a half inches from the center of this part of the mounting plate. You can look at your wall template for more help. All right, so I'm just gonna pull up my hair for this part. I'm just lining up this part with the hole that I marked on the wall and then I'm going to drill at a slight downward angle for the drainage pipe. Now that our wall hole is drilled and we've inserted the wall sleeve, it's time to feed the bundled piping through the hole to the outside. All right, I'm just going to tape these ends here to um, make sure that they all stay in place. And then I'm going to feed this piping through the wall. At this point, it might be a good idea to ask a friend to help you. Just make sure that it feeds through to the other side nicely. Um, you can do it yourself, that's fine. Uh, but since my husband's home, I'm just going to ask him. It's important that you're careful while you're feeding it through the wall because it is copper piping and you don't want it to kink. I've got all the piping and everything fed through the wall sleeve and now I'm just going to hook the actual unit onto the wall mounting plate. There's a little ledge here at the top of the wall unit. I'll just hook it on top of here and then I'm going to push the bottom part and it should click into place. So I've pulled the piping, the electrical, and the drainage pipe through the wall sleeve. And now we're going to connect the 
indoor unit to the outdoor unit so we can get that room temperature regulated. Now I'm just going to remove the plates that cover the electric connectors and the refrigerant connectors. If you're not experienced with electrical work, it is recommended that you hire an electrician for this part of the installation. If you're confident, you can refer to the wire guide on the inside of the cover on the side of your unit. Now you're going to connect these two lines to here. These are the refrigerant lines. And they're different sizes, so there's really no way you can mess it up. Um, these caps should just come off. When connecting the refrigerant piping, start threading it by hand. Use an adjustable wrench with pliers or use two fixed wrenches to tighten the connection. Avoid cross-threading because you don't want to accidentally bend the copper piping. Remove the valve covers. You can then use the provided Allen wrench to open the valves. Turn the wrench counterclockwise until it stops. Make sure you don't force it. When all is connected, use soapy water to check for leaks. That was a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. I know that if I can do it, you can too.